Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the Uthgard server. It is a Dark Age of Camelot emulator, and I'm going to show you how to get started, how to get set up, and get into the game. So the first thing you want to do is go to uthgard.org, U-T-H-G-A-R-D.org, and uh, it'll populate this page here. You want to go to get started and the first thing you want to do is go to download the client and we're going to go ahead and come to this page and we're going to download the very first option so let's go ahead and click that it'll take a moment for it to install or it to load and then you want to go ahead and install it always ask before opening no all right, while that's getting loaded, let's go ahead and go over here. So first off, go to Dark Age Camelot Downloads and choose the first option for the full client. Open the DAOC setup.exe once it has finished downloading. Click Next, read and comply the license, uncheck the option to make a game account, and then click Finish. So as you'll see here, We'll go ahead and approve it. We'll go ahead and click next. You can read this if you wish, but then you can go ahead and click accept, next, and install it to whatever directory or drive you wish to install it to, and install. And here you wanna uncheck that box. Go ahead and click finish, and on your desktop, should now have an icon for Dark Age of Camelot. Go ahead and click that. And it is going to start doing an update. Once uh, it gets started, it will probably take, depending on the speed of your computer, between 20 minutes and up to an hour. So I'll be right back once this gets done updating, and we'll continue from there. Okay, so once the patch is done um, downloading, close this. Don't do anything else with it. Even get rid of this icon right here. We're going to go ahead and uh, just delete it. There we go. We don't need to use it anymore. So now we're going to go ahead and go to create account. So all we have to do is go to manage account and it will come up to this screen now if you use google um, as your email client or if you don't have one it will ask you to create one and then all you do is click here you don't click here to add an account just click here and it'll validate it and then it will show that you are signed in you may have to go through one or two more steps but once you're done, that's all you have to do. So let's go ahead and go back over here, create account, download the launcher. Now, this is where you want to definitely validate the version of, um, of, your, of, of these two items that you would need. So the way you do that is you go ahead and open up this little folder at the bottom, go to your C drive, and right here, if it says Program Files x86, then you want to go ahead and download C, uh, Visual C++ redistrib um, redistributable for Visual, C, uh, Visual Studio 2015 for x86. Now, when you download it and try to install it, if it gives you an error, most times you'll read and it will actually tell you that um, so here we go go ahead and click it you'll have two options 64x or 86x choose 86 go to next it'll download it go ahead and click this and run it and it'll be fast um, you'll say I agree to the license install and right here if you get this message it says another version of this product is already installed then you're done as far as that goes so that's it 
Um, if you don't have uh, the framework for um, 4.6 or higher, then you'll want to go ahead and download this. It's going to take you through the same steps as um, downloading this. Once you're done with that, then all you have to do is go to manage account. And right down here under how to connect, under number two, you'll see where it says download launcher. Go ahead and download that. Click it. I have everything validated um, so that it'll run in admin mode. Go ahead and click next. Install. I go ahead and have it run it. It'll bring me right back to this page. Go ahead and press play. And they'll fetch the information. The launcher is now uh, will now restart and request uh, admin rights to update your client. So we'll go ahead and press OK. Choose yes for the admin rights. And now it is just checking to make sure that it's up to date. Once it gets done with this, then it should allow us to log in. It's not that hard of an install or that hard of a setup, but uh, if any part of what we're doing is not done right, it can fail. And I've had four people tell me that they've had issues getting into the game. So now it's downloading a little bit of file. It shouldn't take very long on this part. And now it's going to bring us into the game. And there we go. And this is uh, where we can start playing the game. If you have any questions or if any of this wasn't working for you, please let me know. And I will definitely do what I can to help you. And uh, yeah, so I this is just a character I made for now. Um, I honestly don't know which character I'm going to make yet. But uh, if you have any suggestions, let me know. And or if you have any other questions as far as uh, Dark Age of Camelot, realms that you would like to see, classes that you would like to see, let me know and I will do what I can to show you off those classes. So thanks so much for watching. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.